And the beginning. When is next vid? Oh, I don't know, do rune dragons. So the journey begins of the 100 rune dragons, I think. And I was going to use this gear because it looks sexy. Because look at that cape and it's just sexy. Anyway, people told me that this gear setup is better with the, the full melees and the dragon defender and using the... Oh, I'll buy that potion right now. And using this hit super anti-fire. No idea how many I need, but I'll buy that many. 1.3 mil worth of them, sort of. And I'll note down all of the supplies I use and I'll poke them until I kill 100 of them. And we'll see how much we make and if they're good and if I get any uniques. So this is the setup I'm going with. I'm pretty sure this is uh this is pretty good Warhammer because you know lowering defense is good. They got chunky amounts of HP, can only kill like five or six per infantry ish. And uh this is an experimental amount of pots, might need more, might need less, and I've also got Vendru it's the wrong spell book. Uh, like I was saying, I have Vendrunes, and then uh, yeah, that's it. Pokey Pokey and insulated boots to protect from one of their attacks. Where they spawn electric and it bounces around, like two spawns of electric bounces around. And if it hits you, it like hurts lots. Unless you have this, then it only hits like ones and twos. So I have that, so I can AFK sort of. Uh, yee! And uh, this because this gets me um, to the place, and I might use a cannon. Might. <laughs> I tried to buy 10k cannibals, but it didn't work. Whatever, dude. 9730. That's what we remember. 9730 cannibals. And I've used my granite dust on them because I have it, so it increases their max hit. Oh, dragon met helm. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Where well, holla holla. How much these uh these dragon limbs go for? Only six of them. Oh. Sad, sad face. Oh no, my dragon fire ran out. Oh! Elite clue! Good stuff, man. Good good stuff. <laughs> he just died. Yo, yo, yo. I'm going for because they're set to. Oh no! No! Oh. Eh, eh, eh. He did. <laughs> the real idiots is the people who bought this for like a millage. Ooh! Dragon plate legs. Hold on. On the floor, they sort of look pink. Doesn't those sort look sort of pink? They sort of look pink. I don't know, dude. I thought they looked pink. I panic, drunken anti. Oh, dude, dude, look, dragon boat. Wait, my dragon boats? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give People are gonna steal my boats. They're mine. Yes, I got my first drop. Iceman. Oh, a dragon plate skirt. And I only have two more kills to do. Nice, man. That is the last dragon that we have to kill. Let's just pick up all this stuff. And let's run on over to the bonk. Uh, run away. So let me just put in the last bits of loot. So we've got a rune scimitar. Each time I've been banking the loot, I've been putting it down on a notepad. So I have the exact loot that I got. And I was also calculating the kills with a calculator. And I can also tell by how many kills I have. Because I have 100 rune bars on my notepad. And runeite dragons always drop one rune bar per time. And they can't drop like duplicate or like multiple rune bars. So this this proves that one rune bar is one prior net one one rune dragon kill. Now I did use vengeance, but I probably forgot to cast it for the first like hour or half an hour or so. So I used that many casts. So let me just bank all this fish. Speaking of fish, I'll pull out the supplies used as well. So I would kill about between like five and eight rune dragons per inventory. And I have noted down here that I did 14 inventories. And each inventory I took three restores, a super combat, and two of these. But I would only use like two super restores per inventory. Sometimes I'd use three if the trip would got a little bit longer. I would use one dose of super combat and I would use between one and one and a half of these potions. Then each inventory was around 18 anglerfish, so times that by 14. But then some inventories, like at the first few kills, you would have to eat food without needing it because you have so much loot, if you know what I mean. So I ended up bringing two monkfish and then like some anglerfish, but having one inventory space free. So 16 anglerfish, 224 in total. Now the only cost left is the cannibals, and of course I start with 9730 of those. So 9730 take away 8554 equals 1276 cannibals. And uh, are the cannibals worth it? Probably not. Like most, like, I don't know, not most of the time. Some of the time they would hit a 20 or a 30. And also my cannibals are granite dusted from the um, gargoyle boss because. I had the dust and may as well use it. So the cost, let's have a look. We got the runes, the potions, the fish, and the cannibals. There's a total cost of about 1.4 mil, let's say. Now it's time to pull out all the loot. And this loot will be 10 out of 10 accurate because I noted it all down, like I said before. Oh, and you might be wondering why I noted down all of the stuff. It's because, uh, oh, yeah, I have a huge loot tab, which I haven't sold in, like, how old is this loot tab? I think it's like eight months old or something. I haven't touched it, so uh, yeah, that's why I had to note down all of it individually. Because it's all got mixed up with my other loot tab. This is all the loot. Oh man, I, I'm not sure what to expect. I've been told it's a bit more now. I've been told it's uh, less than that. I don't know. Let's have a have a look. Four mil. That's like exactly nearly a mil an hour. Because my cost was 1.4 mil, so that would take that down to 2.9 mil. 
and this took me about three hours. So it was just under a mil an hour, but then I didn't get any uniques or a visage or anything. So if you added in the visage chance and like all of the unique chance, it's probably like 2 or 1.5 mil an hour. And these are pretty AFK, you don't need to use a cannon. Oh yeah, this was using a cannon as well. So if you didn't use the cannon, it would cost like less and you probably get more value, more GP an hour. Um, yeah, bearing in mind that skeletal wyverns are about a mil an hour as well, like about the same as this, and they're not, are they sort of, they're sort of AFK. Rune dragons have a higher requirement, but they have a teleport direct there, so it's like a lot more AFK friendly. Wyverns aren't so much that AFK friendly. So if you have alts doing wyverns, you can now do them, if you can do dragon slayer 2 on them, then you can do rune dragons instead, because it's like more AFK and the same profit. Uh, yeah, I guess these things have a higher chance of uh, the visage and obviously the dragon lump I think that they drop. I don't know, the, the thing that makes the dragon plate body. Uh, yeah, sweet. Well, let's throw this in the G so I can get an actual cash stack from it to uh, determine 100%. So, uh, we actually only got um, 4 mil. <laughs> Uh, my personal experience is less than a mil an hour, so it's more like it's more like 900k an hour for me. Um, but then bear in mind, I used a cannon, which cost more. So don't use a cannon, and you'll get a mil an hour probably, um, plus any uniques you get. So yeah, this is obviously not factoring it, factoring in um, the uniques. Oh, I also got an elite clue scroll while I was doing this. So I could do a mass clue. That was cool. So yeah, the decent for, for elite clues. Uh, yeah. So again, wyvern ults. You can be rune dragon ults now instead of wyvern ults. Next video will probably be me PKing on my pure with the new bolts because I very rarely PK and it will be extremely disastrous. So um, yeah, look forward to that. And that is about it.